Mark 11, 24. Jesus says, So I tell you to ask for what you want in prayer. And if you believe that you have received those things, then they will be yours. Napakalinaw na sinasabi ng Panginoon kung anong ibig mong tanggapin, yun ang iyong hilingin. Yun ang iyong ipanalangin. Sapagkat kung naniniwala kang natanggap mo na yun, in other words, ganong kalakas ang iyong paniniwala na hinihiling mo palang ay natanggap mo na, sabi ng Panginoon, ay matatanggap mo nga. You receive what you believe you will receive. You receive what you ask for in faith. You receive what you have in mind, what you think of. You receive what you always say. Ang lagi mong sinasabi, ang bulaklak ng iyong dila, ang siya mong tatanggapin mula sa langit. Ang pamagat ng ating pag-aaral, bulaklak ng dila. Kasabihan niya, nung unang panahon, hindi na natin napagdindindindig ngayon yung sinasabing bulaklak ng dila. Pero yung bulaklak ng dila is just what people always hear you say. Yung laging bukang bibig, yung laging binabanggit-banggit, inuusal-usal, yun yung bulaklak ng dila. E ano ang madalas sa bulaklak ng dila na nadidinig natin? Naku, mahirap ang buhay. Naku, mahirap kumita ng pera. Naku, marami akong sakit. Naku, kawawa naman ako. Naku, lahat na lang ng mga hindi dapat yun ang nangyayari sa buhay ko. Hirap na hirap na ako. Mga ganyan na madalas bulaklak ng dila. At obserbahan natin, kung nagkakatotoo nga na yung laging sinasabi, yun ang nagaganap sa buhay. Ngayon, sinabi na ng Panginoon yan eh. Alangan namang makipag-argue pa tayo sa Panginoon. You receive what you believe you will receive. Napakalakas ng ating kapangyarihan ng pag-iisip. Kapangyarihan ng pananalig. Kaya pag nananalig ka ng talagang totoong pananalig, yun ang magaganap. You receive what you believe, you will receive. Matthew 9, 28 When he had gone indoors, the blind men came to him and he asked them, Do you believe that I'm able to do this? Yes, Lord, they replied. At ang nangyari nga, sabi ni Jesus, Whatever it is that you believe, that is what will happen to you. Matthew 21, 22 If you believe, you will receive whatever you ask for in prayer. Sa quantum physics, may tinatawag na observation. Yun ay measurement, prediction, and expectation. Extract information from the system to change it. Observe it. Predict it. Expect it. Because observation necessarily changes the thing being observed. Yan ay isa sa mga rules ng quantum physics. Now, you receive what you ask for in faith. Kanina, you receive what you believe you will receive. Now, you receive what you ask for in faith. Matthew 8.26, He replied, You of little faith, why are you so afraid? Then he got up and rebuked the winds and the waves, and it was completely calm. So dapat huwag kang matakot, kasi ang kinakatakutan mo ay pinaniniwalaan mo. Ang pinaniniwalaan mo ay tatanggapin mo, kasi ang paniniwala ay prayer. Kahit hindi mo sabihin, this I pray in Jesus' name. Kahit hindi mo sabihin, ito ang aking dalangin, ako ay matakot, ako ay nervyosin, ako ay magkasakit. Ang kinatatakutan ay pinaniniwalaan. Kasi kung hindi ka naniniwala, ba't ka matatakot? Ang kinatatakutan ay pinaniniwalaan at ang pinaniniwalaan ay dasal at ang dasal ay tinutugon. Ang kinatatakutan ay madalas talagang yun ang nangyayari. Kasi meron kang faith doon eh. Matthew 9.22 Jesus turned and saw her. Take heart, daughter, he said. Your faith has healed you. And the woman was healed at that moment. 
Malinaw ang sinabi ni Jesus. Kulang na lang sabihin niyang, hindi ako ang nagpagaling sa iyo. Ang pananampalataya mo ang nagpagaling sa iyo. Kasi kung si Jesus lang yung nagpapagaling, eh di dapat lahat ng tao sa paligid gumaling. Eh ito yung babae lang ngayon ang gumaling eh. Kasi siya lang ang may pananalig. Yung pananalig ay nagpapagaling. Yung pananalig moves mountains. Yung pananalig creates reality. Matthew 9.29 Then he touched their eyes and said, According to your faith, let it be done to you. Yan ang ginawa ni Jesus doon sa mga bulag. Sabi niya, kung ano ang pananalig niyo, yun ang magaganap sa inyo. Sa quantum physics, in quantum mechanics especially, the observer and the system being observed become mysteriously linked so that the results of any observation seem to be determined in part by actual choices made by the observer. So, yung observer, ikaw, at yung system, yung gusto mo mangyari, yung gusto mo ipanalangin, yung, yung pininiwalaan, meron kayong ugnayan at naapektuhan mo ang iyong ino-observe. Naaapektuhan ng iyong pananalig ang realidad. Your faith can move mountains. Halimbawa, dito sa ating example, na kung inyong maiintindihan, naiintindihan, kung nahihirapan naman kayo intindihin, eh di palampas inyo na lang. Kasi kahit naman hindi natin pansinin yung mga excursions natin into quantum physics, meron pa rin, meron tayo makukuha sa ating mga mensahe. Ito ay para lang doon sa ready, willing, and able to appreciate yung mga ginagawa natin na cross-referencing with quantum physics. This is a simple illustration of superposition. The man and woman has two futures, remain single or create a family. It is their decision that determines the outcome, but both futures are equally valid. Lahat ng possible outcomes at states ay taglay na ng mga objects. Sabay-sabay na nangyayari yan at pare-parehong valid. Tulad sa illustration, yung naging family sila at nung naging single sila ay parehong sabay na nagaganap. Pero they can only live in one possibility. Depende kung ano ang ino-observe nila. So, karagdagan sa ating pag-aaral ngayon, you receive what you have in mind, what you think of, what you always say. Nagaganap sa iyo, natutupad ang bulaklak ng iyong dila. Matthew 7.7 Continue to ask, and God will give it to you. Continue to search, and you will find. Continue to knock, and the door will open to you. Tandaan. To think of is to ask. To believe in is to ask. To ask, to believe, to think, pare-parehong equivalent yan ng prayer. To always talk about it, to always inquire about it, is to search for it. And to search is to find. To continuously insist on it is to knock. And when you knock, the door opens. When you insist on something, when you insist with your words, with your thought, with your faith, na mahirap ang buhay, mahihirap ang ka nga. When you insist na ang mga tao hindi pwedeng pagtiwalaan, yun nga ang mangyayari sa iyong buhay. When you insist na mabibigo ka, hindi malayong yun nga ang maganap. Continue to ask, and God will give it to you. Continue to search, and you will find it. Continue to knock, and the door will be open to you. Kaya, dapat nating disiplinahin ang ating pag-iisip, pagsasalita, paniniwala, maging ating mga emosyon, kasi yan ay parang magnet na tumatawag doon sa iniisip, sa pinaniniwalaan, maging sa kinakatakutan. Matthew 8.8 The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. Ito yung, yung centurion ay nanalangin kay Jesus na pagalingin yung kanyang uh, katulong na nasa bahay, malayo doon sa lugar na kinalalagyan nila yan ni Jesus nung oras na yon. At sabi niya, 
hindi na po nyo kailangan magpunta sa bahay namin. Sabihin nyo lang, susunod sa inyo ang lahat-lahat at gagaling ang aking katulong. Yan. Paniniwala, pananalig, at naganap nga. Mark 11.23 Truly I tell you, if anyone says to this mountain, Go, throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes what they say will happen, it will be done for them. Ito ay isang talinghaga sa pagtingin ng marami, pero pwede rin ito maging literal. Kasi you create your reality with what you believe in, with your faith, with your words, with your thought, sa bulaklak ng iyong dila. Quantum physics suggests that objective reality does not exist. In the micro world of atoms and particles that is governed by the strange rules of quantum physics, two different observers are entitled to their own facts. Ang dalawang magkaiba ang paniniwala ay maaaring parehong matupad kung ano ang pinaniniwalaan nila kahit yun ay magkabaligtad. May kanya-kanya silang magiging reality. Two individuals do not have to share the same reality. Kanya-kanya ng realidad ayon sa iyong pananalig. Ang bulaklak ng dila ay nagiging prutas, pagkain, diet. Ang bulaklak ng dila ang nalulunok. Your food becomes you. Your thought becomes you. Your word becomes you. Kaya pag-ingatan yan. Do not carelessly think. Do not carelessly talk. Dahil yun, pag pinaniniwalaan mo ng ganap, ay nagaganap. Proverbs 18.21 The tongue is the power of life and death. And those who love it will eat its fruit. Makapangyarihan ang dila. Makapangyarihan ang salita Makapangyarihan ang diwa Ang iniisip, inuusal, sinasabi